Hi everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, this is just going to be a short intro because my camera SD card is ultra full. Um, so I'm just going to introduce this vlog here. Um, we've been doing outside this week, weekend. Uh, we've been doing like jet washing and stuff. Um, I think I got some clips of that, but my SD card is ultra full. So I'm just going to do some bits and get rid of the data on there. Um, and then I'll talk to you in a minute. It's a little bit later now, it's like four o'clock. And Mark has just gone out for the shop. So he's gone to Asda to collect the weekly shop. I probably won't do a haul, I'm not in the mood. Um, but as usual, I'll show you what I'm eating most nights. Um, yeah, so he's gone out there. And I'm just waiting for him to come back. I have to lock Maisie up in this room while she runs out the front door. So yeah, she can sit here and I'll just sneak out there and shut the door on her. Though she barks a lot when I do that. She's literally lo lounging around. I suppose I'm lounging around now as well. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah, so <laughs> um, I started a new vlog this weekend. Although um, I, I did do a vlog last week and it wasn't very good. I like did like 30 seconds on one day. And then it jumped like three days and then I did a f just like silent stuff, didn't even introduce the next day. It was just a, a mess basically. So yeah, I just thought I would um, start afresh, start afresh. So we're actually closer to reality now because I was getting so far behind in editing that we were like two weeks different from when I recorded. Anyway. Yesterday, I went to Matalan and I bought some suitcases, I'll show you. Um, I also bought some new cardigans, um, just for our holiday basically. So this next week is all preparing for the holiday because I need to buy things like breakdown cover, holiday insurance, um, I need to, I really need to put the passport numbers in the, um, the advanced passenger information, really need to do that, I'll do that today find the passports print out all things like your i don't know if you need the original actually which i don't have and i can't be messed phoning my insurance company to request one um insurance certificate i think you just need a copy of your insurance certificate um you need to take all your car documents basically when you're driving abroad in france and stuff so yeah, so we're arriving in Calais, we're driving up to Belgium, it takes an hour, and then we'll cross over into Belgium and we're pretty much straight across the border where we're staying in Belgium, so um, yeah, it's not far, it's not a far drive from Calais, so yeah, we're going to do the whole drive in one day, which we haven't done for many years, we usually stay off in the Premier Inn in like Dover or Folkestone, and then cross the next day, but we're actually doing this all in one day. Um, Anyway, <laughs> I'll show you my um, suitcases. Okay, so these are the two suitcases that I picked. Our old suitcases are really broken. <clears throat> They're really old. Like, the pink one, the smaller one that we've got, is mine. I got it when I was about 15. And one of Mark's, I don't know how long he's had it, um, but it's pretty much broken now. So we got these. They weren't 55 quid and 40 quid because I got another 10% off that. So... I got like the medium sized one and a small one for like short trips but I think we'll probably take both of these on a holiday with us so <clears throat> what probably will happen will this will be me and Mark's with all the toiletries and anything extra we need to take and we may manage to fit all three kids in that little one because I'm just going to take three outfits I think Bear with me, I'll turn you over. Those are my cardigans, two different cardigans. Bear with me. Turn you back around. Um, so I know the that fan is on. Oh, Mark's ringing, hang on. I can't remember what I was saying now um, because Mark rang. Basically, he was saying we had massive substitutions on Asda and one of those substitutions was all the kids' Easter eggs. Um, 
so he just rang and he was like, did they say that there was no Easter eggs available? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I'm looking at a whole wall of Easter eggs. <laughs> All the ones that we wanted are just sat there on this massive wall. Um, they obviously just could not be bothered to go and to the um, Easter section and get the Easter eggs, which is ridiculous. So Mark's gone in, he went in for something else, but um, he's found all the Easter eggs. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I was talking about those um, things, weren't I? Right, yeah, I was talking about how much will fit in there. Basically, the kids are um, just going to take um, three or four outfits for a week and we've got a washing machine and dryer in our Airbnb so I'm just going to take some washing tablets and halfway through the week I'm going to wash uh, their clothes and then they can rewear it. Um, same with Mark. I like a variety. I always take too much. I take loads of clothes. The boys don't care what they wear. Mark doesn't care what he wears. I'm the type that likes to pick on the day what I want to wear so I take about 14 items of clothing uh, for a seven day trip and that's how we roll because I have taken just what I need before and um, I didn't like it. I was like moaning that I wanted to wear something else the whole week that we went away. So I have to take extra, um, a variety of different types of clothes as well um, because I don't know what the weather will do because it's quite unpredictable. So yeah, I am taking loads so I'm going to have the big suitcase because I'll need it and Mark can take with mine and we need to put all the toiletries in the big one too. So that's fun. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, Mark's going to come back in a second. He's buying those Easter eggs. Not that we'll be here for Easter, I don't think. Um, anyway, I'll see you in a bit. So I've got some popcorn and I'm just about to watch Downton Abbey. A new era. I haven't seen this one. Um, I've seen the... We did watch the first film, didn't we? This is the second film. Okay, I believe. Yeah, this is the second one. Um, I can't remember the first one. Oh, yeah, it was with Emilda Stone and she was in it and she was a posh person. She's actually married to Carson, you know, in real life. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I'm watching this. <laughs> Just having a convo while I'm recording. But, um, yeah, that's what we're going to watch. Chill out for a Saturday afternoon with Dog. So we're still watching Downton Abbey, it's really good actually, I love Downton Abbey, but we, it's got a bit late so we're cooking tea, uh, we're having, um, it's like a Korean barbecue um, pork belly, I'm having mine with um, pasta salad and Mark is having his with a um, chips, so so that's what we're having. We're still watching Downton Abbey though, so that's what we're doing at the minute. And I'm trying to persuade Mark to watch Barbie. I'm laughing any of it. Excuse me. Please can we watch the Barbie movie. He doesn't want to watch Barbie, but I want to. Now I'm going to shut the curtains because it's gone dark and continue cooking tea. And I'll show you it when it's done. Um, but I'll see you in a minute. Sorry. <laughs> What are we going to watch? Reluctantly, I guess my will, Barbie. <laughs> I'm going to watch Barbie. And how was Downton Abbey? Really good. It was really good. So, it is now Sunday. It's quite late on on Sunday. I haven't done any recording all day. Just because I was busy cleaning and I was like, I can't be messed showing you my cleaning. It's very boring stuff. Or at least I find cleaning videos very boring. Um, yeah, I cleaned the bathroom basically while Mark was putting up the, uh, under the sink cabinet. We, we put that off for like two weeks now. Um, but I got a viral scrubbing brush from, you know, from TikTok. But no, I didn't get it from TikTok, but I got the idea from TikTok. The viral scrubbing brush to like scrub the floors. Oh, it was so refreshing. So, um, I did that. I moved all the cabinets out. Got rid of like stuff that we don't need and um, scrubbed every inch of the floor with this really heavy duty scrubbing brush. So that entertained me for a while and then I've just been sat watching telly 
and we're just cooking tea. So that's how late we are. We are almost at six o'clock, 6 p.m. Um, so we're gonna have tea. We're having chicken wraps. Um, so that's what we're having. It's very almost ready, so I'm gonna have to come off and uh, make everybody's wraps for them because the kids don't know how to wrap wraps. Anyway, so I, what I was gonna do today was organize for holiday. I was gonna show you all the bits that I've got for holiday. Um, I might do that tomorrow um, if I don't do it later. But um, I've come in here and I've picked a book to take away with me. I think this is the first book. I have to Google that. I'm sure it ends with us. It's the first one she brought out. So I'm going to take that on holiday with us. So that's going to go in the box in the front room, which has all my bits and bobs for holiday in, which I'll go through with you either today or tomorrow, um, just to show you what we've got in there and what we bought from Primark last week. And um, yeah, just the new bits and bobs that we've been buying for our holiday. So that's my wrap. It's got all sorts of stuff on it. Yeah. <laughs> But that's my wrap. It's even got cheese down there somewhere. So that's what I'm having. The kids have got their wraps. So they're happy. So it's Monday morning. I've just got the kids out of bed. They're having their breakfast. And they'll be getting dressed shortly because we are running out of time. We're a bit behind this morning. I've been looking for passports. I found them. Um, I thought, oh God, what if I don't find them? or they're in different places because Mark took his passport several times for identity checks for different things. Mine I know has remained in place but you never know with Mark's I thought god what if I only find four. Um, they're in date, I knew they were in date anyway and um, we've got another couple of years left on them. So yeah I'm going to do that later, put it into the Eurotunnel for the API. API, Advanced Passenger Information, I think it stands for. Um, because they keep sending me emails over and over again. Incomplete booking, incomplete booking. So I really need to do that. I need to collect all the car documents up. Um, and I need to buy home insurance, uh, not home insurance, um, travel insurance and breakdown cover desperately. Because a lot of breakdown covers, you're not covered in the first few days of the policy. I think it's like two, three days or something. Um, but sometimes it can go up to a week and we are going in a couple of weeks so I'll get that done today and then we're covered aren't we and I have got breakdown cover for the UK so we're all right on that score Um we just need that travel one for France and Belgium so anyway I am um, gonna get the kids dressed well I'm going to tell them to get dressed because they're just pottering about at the minute so I'm back from the school run um it was a bit of an odd school run because I got in the car and um the sign saying that my uh diesel filter needed self-cleaning so I had to I ended up in Carnforth basically um you have to drive 20 minutes above 40 miles an hour so I went on the motorway and I ended up in Carnforth and then I regretted that decision because it would have been easier just to go up and down the bypass like twice, <laughs> which I was going to do, but then I decided, oh, I'll just go on the motorway and it'll do it faster, but then it had cleaned by the time I was in Carnforth and um, then I had to go down all the horrible back roads where there's massive amounts of potholes. What is up with this country and potholes? And, um, yeah, it was just a pain in the bum. And then I went, I've got some roadworks um, in Kellett, which didn't work. So it was just stuck on red. And then some bloke had to, like, direct traffic. I mean, he was a, a worker, a road worker, but he had to direct us all, like, let us through one by one. And then, yeah, how annoying. Anyway, it's cleaned. It's very annoying. I should have just stayed on the bypass. Anyway, so now it's 20, uh, half past nine. 
because I've been out for half an hour cleaning the uh, filter. Hello. It's because I don't go out in that car very often anymore. I just take Alfie to school, really. Um, because Oliver's old school was really quite far away. Uh, yeah, I would be doing quite... I'd be using it more often for longer distances. This dog is like incredibly excited to see me because I'm usually only gone for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like gone for half an hour. I arrived back home and she's sat in the window waiting for me. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a coffee and um, I'm going to sort out my bits in there with my passports and do that business. I won't bring you along for that because it'd be very boring. I can't show you anything. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'll show you what I've got for a holiday later. So I'll do that in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to sign in to my Eurotunnel account and do these passports. got five there. There's me and Mark's, the red ones. The kids have got blue ones. Um... Yeah, because theirs is only five year passports, so they had to renew theirs recently. So they have nice new blue ones. I do like the blue ones, to be fair. Um, I just had a complete, bear with me, I'll turn you around. Why do I always seem close? Bear with me. Um, yeah, I had a complete, like... And my mind wasn't working, basically. This is how scatty I am. So, I was looking for the card documents. You need to take all your card documents with you. Like the MOT certificate. Uh, the V5. The V5 document. Um, and I was looking through all my papers to find it. And then I found the Land Rovers. And I was like, oh, there's the Land Rovers. But I need the other one. And I like looked everywhere for the other car's documents, even though I do need to find that those documents because I still can't find them. But I'm taking the Land Rover. So I didn't need to look for the other cars. I need to look for the Land Rovers. And I've had them here all like in a sleeve thing. Anyway, I just spent like half an hour looking for the wrong car's documents because I don't need them. Although I do need to find them at some point. Um, anyway, I just like... Oh yeah, I'm taking I'm taking the other car. So why am I looking for this car's documents? So anyway, I've got them. I just need to print off. I need to plug in my printer, print off, um, and pay for breakdown cover. Print that off. Holiday insurance. Print that off. Um, my car insurance document. I need to print that off. And um, yeah, that's it really. Well, that was mega easy. I don't know why I was putting it off. Um, they saved all our information from last time because I have an account with Eurotunnel um, because I've gone with Eurotunnel every time we've gone to France which has been a fair few times um, they saved all our passport information uh, but they saved the last time we went so Oliver wasn't on there because he didn't come with us the last time so um, yeah I just added Oliver's information on and just checked the other ones um, and it's done so I've done that. I can tick that off my list. Finally, something's ticked off my list. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, now it's for breakdown and holiday insurance. Okay, so a few years ago I bought this. It's uh, just like a little holder thing. And I put all the passports in here. They're the car documents, like the certificate and all the car documents. That is the travel insurance. And then I just put some printouts of our stay and our reservation numbers for wherever we're staying, including the Eurotunnel, just in case our phones go off. So I like to keep a printed copy of things. And then this goes in my handbag. And then I always keep it on me. So I've got everybody's passports and everything in there. I carry a pen in there as well. Those passports are massive. Um, I could do with a bigger hold on but it's fine um so yeah i'm done i'm done i am uh going to make myself another coffee so i just had my lunch and then i was just sat quiet and then i got an email from the council did i tell you that the council 
have agreed Oliver's EHCP and the new school have agreed that he can go there. That's what's happened. Anyway, they're just about to issue the plan. But the plan said that he wasn't diagnosed with autism yet, but he has been. So um, they want proof. So I'm trying to scan the document which required me to look through all my papers. The living room's a mess because I have so many papers, it's unreal. So many important um, documents. So I had to find the diagnosis letter. And now I have to work out how to scan, which I have no idea how to do, bear with me. I've, right, I've worked it out. Oh, it's just so... I'll just leave that in the scanner. Someone not, don't let me forget that it's in the scanner. Hi everyone, it's a bit later now. Um, I've done the school run. Oscar lost a tooth at school. <laughs> so we have the tooth fairy coming. He's asking me if the tooth fairy is real. I was like, yeah. He's like, how do you know? And I was like, well, I don't leave you money. So she must be real. So how, how much money do I have already? I have nothing, I don't think. We've well, spent it all on well, bee books and what's it, books and I don't know. <laughs> Row books, that's it. Yeah, oh, look at that, that. tooth. When you books. save up enough money from doing no, chores. I'm not doing chores. Anyway, no. so no. it'll be the 81, unless you save your money over a couple of weeks. I'm not saving them. I want it. He's not saving apparently. I'm not saving my money. I'm just... You don't get what you want if you don't save. Oh, That's the moral. I want Honestly, they just want, want, want all the time, and they need to like learn to save and um oh be proud of the saving and all that. Anyway, um I did the school run. Someone parked over my driveway. Really annoyed me again. Like it winds me up. Um I'm just waiting for a roofer to come round to quote for the roof job and uh, Mark should be coming home soon he was like four-ish so that's good and um, yeah that's all I've got to say really I've just been on the school run I was gonna tell you something else I can't remember now but hi Maze she's getting excited yeah anyway, just waiting for the roofer and um, that's it I'll see you in a bit hi everyone it is Tuesday now I'm just making another coffee. I've been up for a while, it's about 10 past 8. The kids have been up since 4am. So Oscar lost a tooth yesterday. And then Mark woke him up. Well, he didn't mean to wake him up, but he woke him up uh, going to work this morning at 4. About quarter past 4, something like that. And Oscar woke up and he was excited about his money from the Tooth Fairy, so he hasn't gone back to sleep since. And he woke Alfie up to show him his money too. So Alfie and Oscar have been up since four. Um, I say up, they stayed in the bedroom because I didn't get up. I was like, I am not getting up at 4am. So I snoozed for a bit and then came down at about... 10 to 6 something like that I had a shower about 10 to 6 anyway <laughs> it's busy 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 Oscar's um, doing some sort of um, festival music festival um, today and later so he's going to practice so he's going on a coach into t into um, town I think I think they'll have a coach um, yeah, so he's going there to practice and then later on Mark's going to take him. There's only one person allowed to get a ticket to watch him at this music festival because it's for like all the local schools and stuff. So yeah, we decided that Mark would take him instead of me because I go to all his plays and things. It's nice for Mark to um, uh, go and watch him do something. So he's going to that later. It's at half past six. Um, so that's what's happening with him. He's excited to be going out of school this morning, so he's up, just about to get dressed, out the door on time. They made their own breakfast this morning too. Although Oscar had a Oscar made a piece of toast with Alfie, 
and spread on the chocolate spread he wanted chocolate spread on it and he did it himself and then he came back and said can I have another one but can you spread it because I'm useless at it <laughs> so I was like yeah all right um but they made their own uh, chocolate toast which is um interesting hi everyone I did the school run I'm just about to go out the door to go to my dentist have I got my car keys yes so I'm just going to go to the dentist and have my teeth cleaned. Hate going to Lancaster. Um, I need to stop off at um, Aldi on the way back because it's on the way. It's on the way back home. So I thought what I'll do, take my purse. I've got my purse. I need to pay for parking anyway. So I've got my purse and um, I'm going to go to the dentist and then on the way back through go to Aldi briefly because my appointment's at like 12. Take about 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Get back to the car. I need to buy some um, school shoes for Oscar in town. So I'll get that done too. And then, uh, it'll be like one o'clock by the time I get to Aldi. So yeah, I've got plenty of time before I have to pick up the kids, so we're all right. So I'll just drop into Aldi, get some, dinner for tonight because there's not much in and um, some other bits and bobs like we've run out of bread and stuff so I'm gonna go do that and I will see you when I get back. Hi everyone, I got back from Aldi and my dentist and whatever town. Um, I'll just give you a quick haul, it's nothing special. Um, chocolate raisins for me because I love chocolate, chocolate raisins. I got some already cooked chicken breasts. That's because tonight I'm having something completely different from Mark and the boys. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they're having actually. It could be gammon what they're having. Um, I'm having something different so I just decided to buy, that was the smallest pack that I could find. They were just like massive big packs of raw chicken. And literally it's only gonna be me having a chia batter. <laughs> with, so that will last over two days. I'm going to have the same um, uh, today and tomorrow. Um, I've got a really bad headache coming on. I think it's the heat, you know. It's gone really, really warm. And I think it's time to get out the summer clothes and just layer them. Because I'm boiling. It's like, it must be like 15 degrees out there. I got some groovy biscuit, <laughs> groovy biscuit, groovy biscuit bars because Oscar requested them. I think one of his friends had them in his lunchbox. I got these uh, little squidgy, squirty drinks there for the holiday. Um, um, mini fillet chickens, um, battered because I am making a fake away Chinese meal tomorrow or the next day. It'll be the next day now that I need to eat all that chicken. Salad. Lemon. Ooh. Lemon Zero drinks there for me and whoever else likes them. Um, got some more chicken things for everyone. I like these. Um, pork scratchings. I haven't had pork scratchings for like, must be years, 10 years maybe. Warburton's bread. Right, I got a variety of little Easter eggs for everyone. Um, I just thought they could do with another Easter egg, so more Easter eggs. Biscuit selection for Mark. More Easter eggs. Whoa, Easter egg, Easter egg, Easter egg. Loads of Easter eggs. Uh, kitchen foil. Paracetamol to put in the suitcase. Um, chocolate spread. I've got this. It's like full of sugar, this, this shop. Coffee for me now. Some bin bags to take on the trip because we'll need some oh my head hurts i've got a really bad head so i'm going to drink coffee which is not the best thing to drink when you've got a headache but i'm going to i might be thirst actually give me a headache right from shoe zone i got oscar a little pair of shoes just to keep him going um I needed to replace my little ballet shoes from last year because I went on the beach in Wales and I completely destroyed them. They looked a little bit like these, so I've replaced them. And some nice little white ones. Reminded me not to go on the beach with these. Because <laughs> they'll just get ruined. So that's the 
shoe purchases and my Aldi purchases. So I'm going to put this away in the fridge. I'll speak to you in a minute. So that's everything put away. I forgot to show you. I got some lilies too. This reminds me actually. Um, it's strange how things repeat in life. Um, and I didn't think of it when I actually bought them. But um, yeah, I... Yesterday was the second anniversary of us living in this house and all I can remember is making a vlog. It's still up actually, I think that vlog. All I remember is making a vlog. I went to Aldi and I did a haul and I was like, I got these lovely flowers and there I am like going, oh lovely flowers. And then suddenly all hell breaks loose and it's just like, we need to pack, we've got like 10 days to move. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm going to do these flowers now and uh, yeah. move those shoes off there before I get unlucky. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready for change? So, I've just sat down and I'm reading the almanac because I haven't read March and I haven't changed my calendar to March yet and we're halfway through already. I don't know where this year is going but um, yeah, I can't believe it's March. It's almost March's birthday, it's next week. Anyway, um, oh, yeah, so it was two years ago that we moved into this house and all I can remember is that I bought the same lilies uh, the week before we moved in, not knowing that we were moving. And I was like, oh yeah, I just put these lovely lilies out and all that. And then suddenly that evening I got a phone call, or that afternoon I got a phone call saying that, oh, can you do in nine days, move in nine days? And I was like, right, everybody pack everything. <laughs> and then these lilies just sat there, that's like waiting to be chucked away basically. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here until school run time. And um. It's a lovely day out. I wish I had my seating out. I was going to do it um, at the weekend, but uh, we didn't. We ran out of time and it started raining, so um, I haven't got them out yet. I'm going to put them out maybe this weekend, or we might as well wait until we get back from holiday, might we? So might do that then. But I would like to sit out there. It's really warm. The sun's out. I think I really need today or tomorrow. No, tomorrow or the next day get out my summer clothes and just layer my summer clothes because there's no way you'd go out in like a woolen dress in this weather it's too hot I'm wearing a fleece and I was too hot so I think it's just a case of layering the clothes that I've got for spring and summer so I'll get them out for my holiday as well so I'm just gonna sit here I'm gonna read read my books and um, wait for the school run and I'll see you later hey everyone it is now Thursday I've just done the school run just sat here having a coffee and filling out a form for Alfie. He's going on a residential trip, which I don't know if I'm overreacting, but I'm really nervous about. Um, he's been on like a residential trip before to Edinburgh, I think. Yeah, it was Edinburgh. Um, but that's not the same type of trip as this. This is like adventurous. They do like canoeing. What did they say they're doing? Canoeing, sailing, walking, high and low ropes and climbing. And I'm like, oh my god, I hope he's going to be safe. It's like a proper, proper uh, adventure centre thing that he's going to. For like four or five nights or something. Um, I've just filled out the form, you know, like the medical form and stuff. And um, yeah, he got me really nervous. I have no idea why, but um, yeah, I just, canoeing scares me. <laughs> Anything to do with water scares me, personally. Um, I can swim. I'm a very good swimmer. Um, but um, even it scares me so like when I think oh my baby's going on this mad adventure trip he'll love it I bet like properly love it but um, yeah I got a bit nervous filling out the form I don't know 
I think it's just normal parenting stuff. Um, they haven't been on many residential trips and stuff. That reminds me, Oscar's got a school trip too that I need to pay for. And, um, yeah, sign the consent. His is not an adventure trip. It's just like a really simple trip for Oscar. Anyway, a bit nervous about this, but he's got to experience these things. So I'm just like, fine, I'll fill out the form. Anyway. What else was I going to say? I'm going to go in the front room and I'm going to show you what I've got for my holiday. Um, I thought I'd just show you what I've put together for now. This weekend is going to be a really busy weekend because um, we need to get all the stuff, get all the stuff done um, in preparation for the holiday next week. Um, what else? Yeah, I haven't picked out everything yet. I haven't bought everything yet for our holiday. I'm kind of regretting going to like a campsite type thing. I should have like done like, I know that campsites are really good because you've got like um, cooking facilities and stuff. You don't spend as much money because you can cook for yourselves and stuff like that and eat when you want. But you have to take a load of stuff with you. You have to be like, I'll show you. I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm going to take. And um, yeah, I'll probably end this vlog after that because... Who knows what I've recorded this week? I have no idea when I started this vlog. I This is why I don't do weekly vlogs, because I get confused. <laughs> I have no idea what I've said to you. Um, yeah, I prefer daily vlogs, which brings me on. I really wanted to do a daily vlog for April, um, but I booked a holiday. And it's not ideal that I do a daily vlog and have to edit on my holiday. I might do a bit of editing. Or I might just do like a vlog every couple of days, which I think is probably best anyway. So what I'm going to do is probably start like a kind of daily vlog for April, like every couple of days or something. And um, yeah, I will edit on my holiday um, because, you know, the evenings are available and things like that. Um, just chilling out in the um, like campsite house thing that we've got. <laughs> It's actually a house that we're going to we're book through Airbnb and it's like a, a little house that we're staying in on a campsite, which is strange. But um, yeah, obviously you'll see that when I vlog it. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I've got um, for the holiday already. Bear with me. Right, we've moved into the front room just to show you what I've got. I don't know if the lighting is any good. Let's put this light on. It doesn't make any difference. I don't know if the lighting is any good. Um, sat down here because Mr. Neighbour that keeps looking at me keeps looking at me and it makes me feel awkward so the, out here I've got like a washing basket full of stuff for the holiday which I kind of need to organise um, so I'm going to take everything out and like put them into piles right I was going to read a different book but I've decided on this one to take with me uh, The Lies You Told I've not read it yet I think I bought it last year sometime um it's chilling and addictive apparently so i'm going to read that i'm going to take that with me um i got some toilet roll just to take little toilet rolls there's four here um mark got these free from somewhere that he delivers to so i have no idea why he got free um toilet roll but it's useful to take with us on holiday because they don't take too much space up those little ones bath mats um I always take bath mats when I go stay in a um, campsite because they never have bath mats and it's so horrible to like get out of the shower and have no bath mat. So I take two. One for like the toilet. I should take a toilet one but I'm just going to take a one like that. So one for the like toilet room and one for the bathroom. Right, in this box, ooh, I'm pulling on something that's just pulled a bit of that off um so i think the other day i was talking about my little folder that's full of like my passports and stuff i've actually changed it to this one which goes in my bag full of i take two handbags i take a little like handbag that i just have my purse and my phone in and my camera and then i take a, a one with important documents and 
um, passports and stuff are in here. Um, what else? Oh, uh, devices. So I always keep like iPads and stuff on me and computers and any spare cameras, etc. I don't know if the lighting is any good, but you'll have to tell me. <laughs> well, I'll find out when I'm editing. Right, so in here, I've got my little book that has all our like um, information in, what we're doing every day. My passports are in there. In the back here, there's like car documents and stuff. I think I showed you them the other day. Like, you need to take uh, your certificate and stuff, your insurance certificate and what have you. These. Right, what we do is take, for every one of these, we take an extension lead. So then we always have plenty of plugs. We do have more than these somewhere, but I could only find three. So I'm just taking three with some extensions. Here we've got some phone chargers, new leads for phone chargers. I'm moving you. <laughs> That's better lighting, isn't it? It's very dark today. It's gone overcast. Just some toothbrushes to take they're just for me and mark the kids have electronic ones so i'll just have to pack them on the morning that we leave right uh some cream for mark because he, he needs like strong cream he also has this stuff this is just prescription strength cream thing um his uh antihistamines right also got a bits and bobs here. We've got some bin liners, paracetamol. Oh, getting old. I'm getting too old to sit like this. Um, squidgy juice. I think I showed you that. So this is what I mean by doing a weekly vlog. You forget what you've done. Right, I got some vest tops for the holiday and just um, because I need them. This one's like a cream coloured one. I got this from Matalan and a blue one i got this cardigan he's growling at me is he another doggy walking past cardigan again from matalan i got another cardigan which is upstairs right little bits and bobs colgate little thing of toothpaste my cellar water, just a little baby one, which is cute. Shampoo and conditioner, and a little one. I got these cow pole melting things for the kids. That's just to keep, just to save space because they're only little. And then um, this one really interested me. I don't understand why they can't do this for every packet of pills, right? So we've got some paracetamol. Like, look how the difference in thickness. This is a travel ibuprofen. And they are smaller. The package is smaller. I don't understand why they can't just do that for every packet of ibuprofen. <laughs> Whatever. I got myself a new hairbrush. I haven't brought it out yet. I thought I'd just take it on holiday. Um, foaming clay cleanser. I'm surprised it's foaming if it's clay. Um, what's the shampoo? And that's it for that bag. So just like little um, travel things. I usually take big ones, but I've noticed that that just like gets in my way. And there's just like, we have no room in this car. Like we have to take um, all our towels, all our bedding, well, we have to take sheets for every bed. And me and Mark are going to take our duvet because their duvet is a king size duvet. And we don't have a king size bed and we don't have a king size duvet so cover so we're going to take our duvet um with us what we do have is a king size sheet for our bed upstairs um that was because our mattress is so massive that i bought a king size one so that's lucky we've got that but we have to take all those that stuff with us and our car isn't that big and we don't have the roof box on we don't have any rails on this one. We have a roof box, but that was for our old car, which had rails on. This doesn't, so we'd have to get them fitted and we're not even bothering. So we're gonna pack lightly. Um, 
the place that we're staying in has a washing machine so we're going to take three days worth of clothes for everyone and then just wash halfway through the week because I think that's the best option. So I've got these two suitcases. I showed you them the other day. This is a small one. We've tried them in the car and we can fit both of them in with our duvet and some bits under the like ledge thing in the boot. So yeah, that should fit all our clothes and um, toiletries in bits and bobs possibly towels as well if I pack well so I got some bits from um Primark last week um I got myself a like a dress or a tunic dress mini dress it's it's quite nice actually it's got flowers on it I got the kids loads of um just jogging bottoms just for the journey so i just put these out on the morning of the journey and they can travel in in comfort so that, those were oliver's i thought it'd suit green just a bit of a difference oscar i got him a, a like a jumpery thing a hoodie without a hood <laughs> it's quite nice that i got oscar some Jogging bottoms. He needs loads of loads of these. He's like run out and some more as well for Oscar. And Al Alfie got a pair, but he's already worn his. So that's what we've got for packing. I'm going to end the vlog here um, because that was like a 13 minute clip. And I think this vlog is going to be extra long. It's going to be like an hour long video. Um, I'll see you soon for another vlog. I'll record this weekend very very busy weekend we need to get more stuff for the holiday and just finish some things off that we need to do um yeah go shopping and stuff it's our last weekend we don't have another weekend before we go on holiday so it'd be very busy um and yeah i probably will see you very soon for another vlog anyway thank you very much for watching this ultra long vlog i expect it to be um but I'll see you really soon. Bye.